Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. My morning is going. It's going. This week is my slow moving week. <laughs> I'm going to feel like it's going to be a slow moving day as well today. I got yesterday. I just didn't feel like doing anything. I did do stuff and ended up having to work late. Um, got a couple phone calls about the house and I had to do a bunch of stuff like late. I was tired. I was so tired. So I was asleep by, I think I was like, I'm ready for bed. I'm so just ready for my day to end. And by nine o'clock, I was laying down and I was out. And then I woke up, you know, in the middle of the night. You know how that happens. When I go to bed too early, get up early, so like in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh, I cannot be awake right now. So I laid there mindlessly scrolling at my phone and then I uh, fell back asleep until this morning, you know, 6.30 rolls around. I'm like, ah, wake up. So I got up, got my shower, sat at my desk. I was supposed to do a bunch of emails and I'm like, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> That's okay. Emails will sit. I responded to what I had to and I just left the rest and I'm like, <sighs> one of those, it's just one of those days. I guess it's like the time that you'd recuperate and take the time off and a week off, but you know, it's life. So I thought, do I get up and even do anything? The house is clean. It's been clean. When you do a showing, your house is spotless for a long time, it seems like. <laughs> so don't worry, it'll get dirty and I'll have to go back and clean it again. But for right now today, it is clean. So I was thinking about it and I thought about shopping this week and stuff and I thought, what do I do? I was going to do the discount store. I was going to do my regular store. And I'm like, hmm, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So I love the discount store. I love a good deal store. Maybe. We'll see how the week goes. It's rainy right now. I'm like, what happened to our weather? There's like a big storm brewing. It's, it's going to be like 80 today. And then it says expect rain around 9 o'clock. So like it looks like a big giant storm cloud just coming this way. And I'm like, okay, I guess it's not going to be nice. But maybe later it will be. So I thought, what do I do for groceries? Do I do shopping first? What do I do? And I thought, you know what? It might just be a good week just to go to our local store and get my stuff. I might do that. Maybe we'll do a a discount store later. I don't know. We'll see. I did. One of my viewers recommended not having my freezer be full when we move. She says, trust me. She goes, even if you move a small distance, it's so much easier not to. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just have a little bit. We'll see. But I guess I won't worry about stocking it too full. I mean, we still have time. We're still going to be here for a little bit. So I still have still can find deals still. I mean, the freezer can empty real quick. I looked at it today and I'm like, wow, like we've really gone through a lot of food in just <laughs> like just a little bit of time. I filled it up. So I might just focus on some meals that are in there, which is a good thing. And then pick up a few things. So what I'm thinking, I got my cookbook up, cooking through the generations. And I thought, I'm just going to look up simple, easy recipes. Like today, I don't think it's the day to like go find new ones. I've got other cookbooks. I can try new ones out, but I'm feeling like just simple. So just planning out the next couple weeks. It's kind of how I think it's going to go. Simple, simple, easy recipes. I'll go get some stuff. I'm thinking to go get, you know, watermelon. The kids love that. That was really good. And fruit, you know, veggies, all those good things. So that is our focus this morning. I don't know. We'll have to make food today because we're still going to have to eat because, uh, you know, life. But let's focus on making a meal plan for two weeks at least. You can just do a week, but I, I have enough food for a week. I really do. The only thing we're out of is like milk. So um, I feel like we'll be okay, depending on what day I go. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see how the, we'll see how my life goes. But I'm thinking I have enough for right now. So let me just plan out some dinners, go to my freezer and see what kind of meats I have, and then go to my pantry, kind of look and see what I have, base some dinners off that, and then it'll be easy enough. Does that sound good? All right, let's have a wonderful day. Let's plan some simple frugal meals with me. This is without going to the discount store, without going and finding deals, just eating plain old regular food. Plain old regular food. <laughs> It's good. So, okay, let's go look in the freezer. Bring your notepad. Go to your freezer. Let's open the freezer up. Not looking too bad in here. So, let me move a little bit forward here. Okay, I think, how many? How many chicken do we have left here? Good enough for a meal right here. Let me get this back shut. Okay, so what I have is slider buns. And so we're gonna we're gonna do this. Slider buns and chicken patties. Let's just set it like that. The freezer's not full. So I can do a chicken patty dinner. Chicken patty with slider buns. It'll work. They'll be a little bit smaller, but it's good. I have a lot of here's the bacon. I'm gonna have to open that one day. This is these are oh you know what I have is a ham. I do have a ham. There's ham and sausage in here. So um, one of the kids like is that Jared, they call it Jared's castle. It's basically bow tie pasta. It's a tomato and a Alfredo 
base sauce. They like that. I have a lot of chicken in here. I know I have a lot of chicken. So in sausage, we could do some breakfast burritos. I have this kind of chicken. I think there's chicken patties right here. Yes. So some veggies. Got steak pieces. Hey, that's all hamburger. All right, and French fries. That's not too hard. And the chicken goes for me. These are those potato things. All right. And I have nacho cheese, and we have Texas toast and pepperoni. Still lots of meat, still lots of things. So let's, um, chicken. Chicken and beef. I have a lot of chicken. So you're looking, you got a lot of chicken, you got a lot of beef, you got a lot of hamburger, and you got a lot of sausage. I even have breakfast sausage. I could do some uh, breakfast sausage balls. And lots of chicken patty thingies. Okay, and beans. I gotta use up my lima beans. I'm gonna use those light. I bought those thinking I wanted them. I never ate them. Lima beans. What else do we got in here? Lots of peas and carrots. And we have nacho cheese. We do have a lot of the nacho cheese. Nachos would probably be really good too. Let me write down nachos. Okay, and I got Texas toast. That is in here. Let me go see what else we got over here. Look in this cupboard here. These are more like canned stuff. I know we have a lot of stuff. Something I saw, I had it on my YouTube shorts, Cowboy Caviar, they made it totally different. I forgot how much I love that, so I'm gonna write down Cowboy Caviar. That would be a great to make a big bowl of that. It makes so much when you make it, so it's like a huge amount, but that would be something easy to eat with chips. And I like having it on the side with salad, so a salad night would be really good. We've got chicken up there as well. We've got manwich in there, I forgot we have I could do manwich on those little pad, those little sliders. You know what? I will get buns and we'll do manwich on the mini sliders. That's what we can do. I forgot I had that. What else do we got? We have pickles. We have just have lots of stuff up here. Okay. We can always do chili. Chili is always a staple. Everybody loves chili. Chili is an easy one. Um, I'm just looking at everything else. Okay. We do like a fried rice. I could get the, um, I could get that bacon out and cook it and do a fried rice. Or do like a beef fried rice. Maybe beef fried rice would be good. I haven't made that in a long time. Fried rice with beef. Because we got all those beef chunks in there. All right, hey, let's go look in the other pantry. I mean, there's still other stuff I can choose as a side, but that's, that's a good start. <laughs> the pantry, I gotta go through here. We have a lot of stuff in there. I'm thinking um, a lot of staples. I was looking at them like we have stuffing in there. I could do like a chicken dinner. We still have that ham in there, so I could do a ham dinner. I feel like that's something. I want to do that when, like when we're doing a family thing because that's a lot of ham. We won't eat all that, so that'll stay frozen. I got mac and cheese. There. I got a lot of dairy. Like it's not dairy free, but the kids that do dairy lactose free do better with that mac and cheese. So, and I have a lot of cocoa wheats and grits that kind of stuff. So maybe I should really focus on eating that for breakfast along with the granola we have in there because I do, I think we're out of applesauce that we made homemade, but I do have some canned stuff that I bought at the store so we could focus on eating applesauce and granola. That's a really yummy thing. Lots of lentils. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go check my hallway one now. All right, I'm over here now. <laughs> So what I'm doing is, um, Stephen came out and he made his own breakfast. Like the kids are, they're all independent. The other ones make their own breakfast. He's making, he made toad in a hole today. And I'm like, the other day he reminded me, he's like, we made toad in a hole. And I was like, we haven't made toad in a hole in a long time. So I wrote that down, toad in a hole. I don't even think I put that in my cookbook, which might be a reminder for my next one. So what I'm doing is I'm going through my cookbook. This is food we like. It's simple, it's easy. I've been making it a thousand times, but everybody likes it. There's no guessing, it's a good thing. So I'm just going to the beginning of each section. Like I went through the breakfast. Oops, so I did that. So I got my breakfast ideas. We're gonna to be toting the whole breakfast burrito because I have sausage, I have cheese. So I just wrote down tortillas because I always forget to get the tortillas. And then, um, and I'll need eggs, of course, eggs. So when you're making your list, if you think about like what is it you don't have, add that to your list. And then um, we have a lot of cocoa weeds and cream of wheat, that kind of stuff. Um, so I wrote that down. We can eat that, we don't need anything. And popovers, I, we like popovers, haven't made that in a while. And then I just put fried eggs. So those are simple, easy breakfast. I'm not gonna have to think about it. That's gonna be like the granola. Did I write that down, granola? 
got kids coming up. Stephen came out for his second one. He's like, he's loving making toad in the hole. So he just made his second one. Jaden came up and got hers and made some eggs too because she works at a food truck. So she's like, I make eggs like I do at the place, which was good because I saw her put salsa on her eggs and I'm like, ooh, I need to get salsa. So I added that to my list. So I'm looking through my dinner ideas and I was getting some ideas looking through it and I added um, poor boy subs. That was in my uh, sandwich one. I'm like, that's a, always a good thing. And that's really good to have like in the weekends or if we're gonna go hiking or do something because we're gonna like the last little bit that we're gonna be here it's been busy getting things going and I really told the kids you know we'll focus on doing some activities some field trips that kind of stuff so have a list for that um, and then I thought I looked at my dinner ideas I'm like baked potato that's cheap just get it even though potatoes aren't cheap you can still get a bag of potatoes not too bad so we could do a baked potato bar everybody they'll eat it they don't love it but they do eat it so that would be good and then madeline loves the chicken pesto tortellini loves it but it's like i can't do it for Jaden and jensen because it's just so much milky creamy stuff so i'm thinking i'm gonna try i'm gonna do i'll get some i'll just make a small pan of the chicken pesto tortellini with the alfredo and then i'll do one with just tomato sauce i can do that right and that would be actually pretty good maybe we do provolone cheese or something in there so wrote that down i'm just looking at the rest of my stuff here it's like there's, oh, there's a lot, I mean, hamburger gravy. I had a hamburger gravy because I have a lot of peas and carrots. And so then, um, and what else can we do? I mean, the, the good thing is, stuffed shells. I haven't done stuffed shells in a long time. Okay, I'm like, the good thing is about my dinner ideas is a lot of them, it just is basically what's in your pantry. So you really don't have to get a ton of extra ingredients. So that's good. So we're gonna keep moving here. So I'm looking at, let me go at the back of my recipes. Especially, I wrote down, oops, let me go back here. I know I put down other dinner, it says often other dinner ideas that we often have. So I just wrote down different things that were simple to buy, like chicken patties on a bun with tater tots. That's just something simple that um, you can get that it obviously didn't require a recipe. And so like um, mac, mac and cheese with a can of chili beans added. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do that don't require um, you know, too much extra things. I even think my curry, I haven't had curry in a long time. Hmm, curry is delicious. I can maybe do that too. I want to, you know what chicken fajitas? I just saw that. I forgot I have chicken fajita. I have chicken fajita meat in here. Hello, that was my whole recipe. So we do have all that chicken. So we can do some more chicken burrito bowls, chicken burrito bowls, or fajitas. Just ideas, because we have all that chicken in there too. So plenty, plenty of dinners for that thing. And then app I don't really need appetizers for anything. <laughs> desserts, you always need desserts. I'm thinking desserts to do what I'm thinking the kids really like. You know what would be good to do is like um, puppy chow. That would be a good, I'm gonna write that down. Bean donuts, because I have a lot of garbanzo beans. I forgot I got those big giant cans. So like puppy chow would be good to make. So I'll probably get some big boxes of that kind of stuff. I'm just looking through, I mean, anything right monster i could do a big thing of monster cookies too i just have to go get all the i get some chocolate chips monster cookies would be a good thing to make maybe cookies maybe i'll focus on some cookies to freeze i'm just looking at anything else because um it's good to have some kind of snacks hold on i, mean, I was like looking through here oh, you know what i'm not going to worry too much about extra things i really am not and it's okay there's because i probably will go discount store shopping they always have treats and that so i just wrote down Bean donuts, I have to get some chocolate chips, puppy chow, so I'll have to get the stuff for that. Energy bites, because with my Thrive Market, I got that stuff, and I put no bakes are always easy to make, and that is it. So I have a nice little list here. Is that the end of my, and then it was, I was thinking, is that the end of my list? It is the end of my list, isn't it? And then it goes to, what's after the treats? I think that's it. Yeah, <laughs> just making sure. So I have a very good meal things. There's one, two, three, 14 meals planned out, and like so much obviously we can do extra. There's always something you can make. When you think you can't do anything, there's always something you can find to make. So now with this, I will now get my grocery list together. I'll look on my phone because I do have a grocery list saved of um, things that I need to pick up. And then we'll just plan out some dinners, easy. And I like even thinking in the back of my head, I still have like a bunch of chicken in there, like the nice chicken patties. So we could do like breaded chicken in the air fryer. And there's always extras you can do, which is a good thing. So let me get my, let, take my little piece of paper off. And then I'll write down things that I'll need to purchase to make all of this happen. It's amazing when you sit and plan out your grocery list of how much you actually don't even need, which is a good thing. So I've got a tiny list here for us to get food for the next little while. And I'm like, 
wow, there's not a whole lot there, which is a good thing. It's like, we need fruits and veggies. We're totally out of that stuff. And then I need, we're gonna do the tortellini, so that'll be something smaller to get. We're completely out of salsa, so that we'll need chocolate chips. I don't have any of those. Um, we'll need some cereal because of the um, puppy chow, and then we'll need powdered sugar, I was out of that. And then I wrote down hamburger buns. We need one to finish off those chicken patties, and then we need like eggs and milk. Um, I need just some small things like, small trash bags. I went through, I went over to my computer and looked real quick on my master grocery list. This is the one that I always usually print off each month. I haven't done it for a few months because of life and how we're doing things, but I looked just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And there was things like small trash bags. That was something I needed. I know we're out of pool shack, totally out of pool shack. So I need to get that because we don't want our pool turning green. <laughs> and then um, I looked for Sam's Club. I wrote down scoop chips because I want to do the cowboy caviar and then Doritos because we want to have it for um, salad topping because that's a good thing to have on there. I probably get some more flour because my flour, we have been making a lot more things at home, which is good. So I'll need more of that olive oil is totally out of elbow pasta. I don't have any elbow pasta. So I know I'm making all my dishes. So I wrote down like elbow pasta and corkscrew pasta just to get a couple of different varieties for salads, that kind of things. Jaden likes goat cheese. And so um, she does like that. And so I keep forgetting to get that. So I wrote that down. We're out of butter. So I wrote down big thing of butter. And then I like the fresh salsa on things. So I wrote that down. I'll get a container of that. And then I'm thinking I'm just gonna get my bread at Sam's Club because we do like the seed bread. I haven't bought that in a long time. It's like the protein stuff and it's a lot cheaper at Sam's Club. So I'm thinking to get that and then the Sara Lee bread. Okay, I don't mind. Um, like Aldi bread is good and Walmart sandwich bread is good. Like it lasts, it's good. But if you don't eat it, it does get drier. I'm totally fine with that. We have been doing it that way, putting it in our freezer. I found that the Sara Lee bread, it's a little bit more but it lasts longer. So I'm gonna get two packages of that and then really focus on, and then tortillas I wrote down. And then I'm gonna stop at our local Ingalls and I will get the lactate sour cream because I do like to have that on hand. I should get a sour cream, shouldn't I? I'll have to look and see if I have one. Um, because I do like to have that for if Jensen or Jane wanna have that. Like last night we made that flatbread tacos and it was nice. They're like, oh, we can have this. And I said, yeah, you can, because it's the lactate stuff. So good to have that kind of stuff on hand. And we've kind of figured out the cheeses and stuff they can use. So this is good. I'm like. You know what? It's good to write this down. I mean, it's. you wonder what the price is going to be. I'm like, hmm. I'm like, do I just do an Aldi trip? And then it's a little bit cheaper. Could. But I could also just do Sam's Club and Walmart because then I don't have to go to a bunch of stores. Then I'm like, do I do the discount store in our town because, you know, it's a good deal? Or do I just avoid the discount stores completely? I know. <laughs> I'm thinking just Walmart and Sam's. I'll just do a simple, I could even do a pickup order. I know I could, and then I would avoid buying anything I don't need. I so could do that, but I think I'll just run it. It won't be too much. So I'm thinking tomorrow will be my day of shopping because um, Jane doesn't have to work and then I could just get up in the morning and go and not worry about having to be back. So I'm thinking tomorrow will be my grocery day. There's not much here, which is awesome. I'll decide if we do the discount store. Maybe it'll just be simple, Sam's and Walmart. But this is good. It's like my list is done. I don't have to worry about anything else for my day. And then I'll dinner tonight, I'm going to do the chicken burrito bowls. We have those packages I bought at um, the discount store and I've got lots of chicken. So I'm thinking we'll have that and that's easy because we, we have a little bit of lettuce left over. We didn't even eat all that lettuce we chopped up and the flatbread tacos was pretty much gone. I think there's two left. Um, it was easy and delicious. And breakfast, the kids made their own eggs today. So they're getting self-sufficient people. I don't even know what I'm gonna do if I'm not gonna cook anymore. <laughs> Just dinner with Amy. That's all I'll have to do anymore. So good days. All right. So planning your meals out, you'll save hundreds of dollars because I didn't like in my head, I was thinking I'll just run to Sam's. I'll walk through the aisles. I'll pick up whatever. Of course I'll pick up whatever. And I'll be buying a whole lot more than I don't need. Even having a list sometimes it's so tempting to like buy more than you need. The best way to save money is doing grocery pickup because you're not seeing everything that you see you go shopping with. So just, or just keeping very diligent and sticking to your list. I know, I know it's hard. You can do it though, you can do it. <laughs> Just go, this is all I got, go in and get what I need. Even if you go, oh, I forgot that, go wait a minute. I can probably live without it because you didn't even think about it. So it's good, all right, my list is done. My job is accomplished for the day of what I had to do and that was just make my grocery list. Now I'm good, now it's like I'll have food I won't have to worry about anything. And then if I do want to go to discount store shopping just because whatever reason, then I can. But if not, we're still gonna live and have food and be just fine, because there's a lot of snacks. We do have a ton of snacks. So I'm not worried about anything else. Popcorn is like my number one goal to use a lot of. I'm gonna focus on making that maybe every day. So there's always a bowl of popcorn out because we have a ton of popcorn seeds. That's an easy thing to eat and good for you, all those good things. So, all right, 
I'll be done in a minute. We'll make dinner in a little bit later. Okay, so a lot has gone on in the time that since I started this morning until now. I've like had to take my phone, I think from the time I stopped until just now, I'm like, put the phone down, Amy. So much going on behind the scenes when buying a house. Craziness. It's like so important to make sure you know who you're dealing with and you know like being a believer like choosing a person that is a believer is very helpful very helpful because they have your your back they have your side you know our realtor here in north carolina she's wonderful we we had her when we bought this house and it was so great because we would um she like was sending me houses and i was like you know, I said, I feel like I'm like, I didn't even flinch or worry or even think about it, like at all, like at all. I was like, we'll find her house, no big deal. And she, uh, she's like, well, she was sending me houses and they were all over and I'm like, you know, God placed us in Zirconia. I feel like we are gonna be in this town here. I said, I know he'll put us here. I said, he doesn't want us to uproot and start all over again in another city. And she's like, I just don't know. There's no houses for sale. And I said, you know, I said, you will find our house. I guarantee you will. <laughs> so she's like, okay. <laughs> And it was so great because then one day out of the blue she called me and she's like i found your house i said did you find our house and she says yes it was found from a friend from a friend that saw it for sale by a person that lives down the street heard it from this person and it's not listed anywhere at all because it's for sale by owner they didn't even post it online and she's like i think you're gonna love it and it was great because yeah and it was this house it was this house and it was perfect situation and everything everything works so seamlessly like there was no worries like at all at all we came down it was like the septic was an issue at the very end and it was like one of the lines was not working and i think i shared the story and then um it, anyways i was like god you're not gonna just have us have to dish out fifteen thousand dollars for a new septic you're gonna make this work anyways prayed about it got things working out and like one of the persons that she knew her husband the husband that was gonna get into doing um like inspections for septics came and took a look at it and he says oh you see what your problem is usually they check the box they check the lines and or the the tank and the lines and they see that's a the problem they said they always forget or they never go to this box right here it was a d box i believe that's what it calls and he says see this he took the lid off showed me he's like see you live on a mountain that d box moves so water can only flow into these certain like tubes over here that's why it's not going to the rest so he he moved it back and he says there you go water's fixed and he's like it's all working so it was it like god so god so god and he was very helpful to hook us up with everything we needed to make our septic good and it's been amazing since we've lived here with so many people and so to say all that, like this time around, is a little bit different because we're using multiple people. So just dealing with people, our people here, and then dealing with people there is just like a whole different realm, just dealing with things. So it's good. So today was one of those days I was like, mm, it's okay, it's good, <laughs> it's good. So I'm like, I just gotta get dinner done because I have a meeting tonight for our community I have to go to. And so I'm like, okay, we're doing, you know what we're doing tonight, people? Right here, breedables. These are great things. You don't need a box to do this, but it's very helpful if you have one because you don't even need to think about or do anything to make it, but you can very well make it without it. So I am going to do, literally, I have the chicken right here. It's already cooked, so we're gonna use this. I'm gonna fry this in a pan. We're gonna do a little pot of rice. Pull out some beans. Easy, it's gonna be easy because I need my life to be easy tonight. So you guys ready? Okay, let's go over here and we'll get all set up. Okay, we're coming over here. This is what I'm gonna do right here. We're gonna do the frying pan with some olive oil. Yeah, chicken. I'm thinking, how much chicken do you put in here? Is it two? One pound. How much is a pound? This is five pounds. You got one pound? Two pounds of a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken right there. That'll be good right there, right? Okay, so turn this on. I feel like that's going to be good enough. I'm gonna go put this in my freezer. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's just you just adding seasonings to this. Yeah, super simple. This is like the easiest fish ever. It's delicious. They have a beef one too. We like the beef and we weren't sure if we'd love the chicken one, but we had the chicken one last time and the kids said it was really good. So I don't know if it's just taco seasoning or what. I'm sure it's something different. I guess it smells like taco seasoning. I don't know, taco seasoning. Maybe it's just taco seasoning. So we're gonna put this in here. I guess I'm adding this early. Okay, then we're gonna do for our rice. We are going to cook rice. This is it. It's so gonna be pretty easy. Add a little bit more oil here. 
this is going to be great. This is going to be so simple to do. You could do this with, like, just don't fling stuff out of your thing. Sorry. This is all going to cook. I'm going to get a little bit of water. How much water I got to get in here? I need one and a quarter cup. Let me get water for this. Okay, the chicken is delicious. It's like a chipotle, is that how you say it? <laughs> chipotle, however you want to say it. But delicious. Mm. So you could do those bowls up individually. If I was gonna do like meal prep, I would. I'm just not because my day, my day's going a little bit different and I just want to get done because I have to leave here in a little bit. So I'm gonna open up these little bean sidekicks. I think I need two of these, don't I? Let me go get one more of these. Here's another one. I think one's enough because they probably don't really love these, but it will be good to put on there. I also have corn. So let me get that out. And this is how we're going to do things tonight. So here's corn I took off the cob yesterday. So we will take and put like a, do a plate, and then we'll have the rice, the chicken, the fiesta kick beans, and corn. And I have like, Whoever wants like a sprinkling of lettuce, I have a sprinkling of lettuce. And this is queso. Now I'm pretty sure um, I do have, I pulled up provolone cheese for Jensen because he can do that one. This He can't do this. And then I also just have regular like orange cheese, like American cheese. So if you know, anybody wants this, because this, this is good, it's just a little spicy, but the chicken's pretty spice. I'm cooking my corn in the microwave here, just heat it up. This is gonna be easy. Like yesterday was pretty easy with flatbread tacos. This is really easy to put it together too. And then I don't have to worry about dinner tonight. So it's just been like a, it's been. So I'm just tired, tired from last week. So this this will catch up with me. It'll take a few days to do it, but you know what? Eventually it'll be caught up, which is a good thing. And we'll get there. So I'm just gonna take it easy these next couple days. And you know what? Life will be, life will be great. So I've got all of this in mind, but I should put it in my oven. I can just put it in the oven right here, put it in warm. Cause it's gonna be a little bit that we have the beans. These are room temperature, but I can put it in warm. Call it good. Same thing with corn. Throw that in here. Shut your microwave. Don't hit your head. And the cheese. And then just keep this going right here. It's going to be not too much longer that we're going to eat. And then, like that's it. I have one of these in case anybody microwaves. So you know, it doesn't explode all in the microwave. And that would be a good thing. And then my dinner is complete. And when you have busy days, it's good to do that. A freezer meal would be awesome. Like freezer meals, put them in the oven. You don't even need to think. That's even better. So preparing those things beforehand helps hugely on days like today. I just had this stuff and I knew it wouldn't take that long to throw it together. And that's what I did. And I'm like, you know what? It's good. It's good to do those things. Easy, easy, easy. You owe it to yourself. Even chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. Make that and say, yeah, I made food for my kids. And that is quite all right. <laughs> it's quite all right for those things. So we'll just let this finish cooking. And then done, done for the day. Well, done for cooking part. And then I have to go edit and then get to my meeting here for our community. And that'll be like our last time at the meeting. So I need to pass off my duties to someone else tonight. So I'm like, okay, be done with my little town of Zirconia, little Green River community. So pass those along to somebody else, which will be nice. And then, um, so I'm gonna do that and that's it. That's gonna be my day and then get home. It'll be bed tonight and tomorrow we'll be shopping. Okay, I'm sitting here to wait to show you what it looks like when the rice is done. It's literally cooking. You know how, you know how rice is? You know how to cook rice, right? Like I just turned it off because it's right there where the bubbles are on the top. See, like that? That lid is hot. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I'm done. I'm done for the day, and that's okay. That's how my day is going. I have other things to attend to that are behind the scenes, and I'm just going to get it done. So no worries. You don't let things worry of this world worry you. Even when God shows you something, God is going to make it work out. And no matter how the enemy wants to try to come against you to bring that down, know who you serve. I have a house full of kids. Know who you serve and who has your back always. Always, even if people mean things for bad, God works them out for good. You have to remind yourself that it's so easy to get so emotionally wrapped up and just get frustrated. And it's natural and normal to do those things. We're reading about that in our Psalms on the weekend. But just to go, you know what? Like worries, Pfft, nothing. Like my God is so much bigger than your little stuff that you're trying to pull. <laughs> so I reminded myself of that. Get some praise and worship music on. Get your mindset right. God will make it work. All right, my kids are outside. So 
I'm done. <laughs> My kids are in and out, so remember that. Sometimes you gotta stir it, remember that, fan that flame, fan that flame up inside of you, stir up that faith and just go, God, you got me. You got me, God, and I know this, so I am not gonna worry. Why do I worry? Why do I worry? Because he knows what you need. He knows what he has plans for. He knows what he's gonna accomplish in your life, so don't let that stuff worry you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Sometimes you gotta convince yourself that, and it's not about faking it, it's about just believe it. Just like you can make yourself believe that things are so horrible and you can just go over and over and over and dwell on those things. You have to also make yourself believe that things are going to be good. And it's called changing your mindset and getting in faith with what God says. So it's a good thing. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. We're going to go shopping. We'll get some food and I'll still relax tomorrow because I'm going to just go shopping. <laughs> make my life a little bit easier. So have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right, bye.